What's up guys? This is iOS 16 versus Android 14 Beta 1 on the Pixel 7. This is the Pixel 7 versus the iPhone 13 on iOS 16.4.1. So which is better OS? Will it be Android 14 Beta 1 or iOS 16.4.1? Anyway, you can see I'm using two different wallpapers on here. I'm using the Spider-Man on the Pixel 7 and Scorpion which is my favorite Mortal Kombat character on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So on Android if I swap down like so you'll go to the control center. On iOS they call it control center but for Android they call it the notification toggles. On Android swap down go to the notification toggles. And on iOS, swap down to your right, you'll go to your control center. So on Android 14 Beta 1, you got your time, your date, your battery percentage, or your battery icon. You got Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, Flashlight, Battery Saver, Wallet, Auto Rotate, or Airplane Mode. If I swap to my left, you can have more. Notification toggles, you got night light, screen recorder, nearby share, battery share, data saver, screencast, and security and privacy. You can edit the icons by tapping on the little pen just like so. You can rearrange them, you can move them around, you can select or deselect, or you can reset it to the default notification toggles. So that's notification toggles for Android 14. On iOS 16, you got your airplane mode, Wi-Fi cellular data, Bluetooth, rotation lock switch, you got do not disturb mode, flashlight, clock, screen recorder, calculator battery, icon, battery level, date and time, and your network name you got the camera icon as well so that's pretty cool if i swap to my left or right nothing gonna happen so let's go back if i tap and hold on ios 16 you can see the icons are wiggling to remove the app or any folder that you have on your device let's say if i were to remove the first lab app tap and hold on the screen it's gonna wiggle and tap on the x not the x but the minus button once i tap on the minus button it says remove free lab remove first lab i mean you can delete the app or you can remove from home screen or you can cancel it if i wanted to delete it all i gotta do is tap on delete and you'll remove the app or the folder from your phone so that is that that's how you delete app or remove folders on enjoy tap and hold you can see it bring you different things it bring you home settings widgets and wallpaper style the way you delete apps or folders on enjoy 14 is you go to the app you tap and hold on it you go to app info you can disable it of course if you don't want that you can go ahead and go to open once you go to open it will bring you to something else but we don't want that you got three dots on the top you can uninstall the update if you have any issues with the update you can uninstall it so that's pretty cool you can also allow notification allow permissions go to storage and data you can clear the storage or you can clear the ash, the cache. But the way you delete the app is that if you want to delete any app, you can tap and hold on it. And you can bring it up. You got two different options. You got remove or uninstall. If you want to uninstall it, try get to uninstall and it'll bring you two different options. Do you want to uninstall this app? tap on cancel or okay if you tap on okay you gotta uninstall the app so 
that's how you uninstall an app on Android 14. Again on iOS, you tap and hold on it, and it's gonna wiggle. Tap on the minus button. You can delete, remove, or cancel. On Android, tap and hold on any app. Go to uninstall. There's another way to do it. On Android, go to settings, go to apps, and when you go to apps, go to see all apps and you can click on any apps that you want and you can tap on uninstall on the top just like so so there you have it if i tap and hold on the home screen on ios or on android 14 you can see you got two different options on android you can change the wallpapers like so on ios you gotta go to settings and when you go to settings, you got to go to wallpapers, just like so. And you can customize the wallpaper that you want. If you want to add a new wallpaper, you can tap on add a new wallpaper at the bottom. And you can choose different wallpapers that you wish to add. You can choose from your photo, photo shuffle, emojis, weather, astronomy, or color. You can choose different home settings, of course. iOS 16 allow you to choose different home settings. And once you see the one you like, tap on set as current. And that's how you choose the home screen that you want. You can see I am using the uh, Scorpio, I mean Scorpion wallpaper, right? If I want to change it to something else, go to the wallpaper and tap on as current and boom shaka like I just change it like so if I want to change it back to what I had before go to it and tap on set as current and boom so for Android you can choose any wallpaper you want by choose click on change change wallpapers you can choose from feathers live bloom living universe community lens you know you got different options if I wanted to change it to a feathers Tap on that circle like so and choose the wallpaper I want. Once I tap on it, it should bring me the options. There you go. And on the top right, it says set as wallpaper, and I would just tap on it. You can choose the lock screen only or home screen. So, notification on iOS 16 this is what they look like. Once you swap to your top left, you get your notification on Enjoy swap down like so and this is what the notification look like on android 14 beta 1 if there's any notification that you want more information about tap and hold on it and it's gonna enlarge it or prolong it tap on the arrow if i swap to my right or left it's gonna carry the notification of course if i tap and hold on it it's gonna bring you more settings you got your default settings, you can make it ring or vibrate when you get the notification from the app. You can go straight to the settings for the notification just like that. You got different, you know, options once you go to the settings of the notification for the app. On iOS, the notification you get, you can enlarge it. If I tap and hold on it. It's gonna basically give you like a better preview than Android 14, which I like a lot. You can send it to trash, that's for the email though. You can send it to trash or mark as read. But if there's like a notification for a different app, let's say for YouTube, tap and hold on it to expand it. And if I tap and hold on it for YouTube, you can hold it, the comment, or you can go to settings for the notification app, just like so. So they basically about similar, but they work differently, of course. I mean, Android and iOS work differently, but they are similar. Android can always do more. They always have more customization and more options, but iOS is not far behind either, guys. And of course, iOS come with, you know, Siri and Android 14 got Google Assistant. If I swap to my left, you got the app library for Android is basically the app drawer. 
for Android's app drawer. If I swap up, you go to the app drawer. You can search for any app that you want. Let's say if I want to search for Facebook on both devices. So guys, that's iOS 16 versus Android 14 beta 1. Which OS do you prefer, Android 14 or iOS 16? That's it. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'm out. Peace.